This chapter we will be discussing about the social conditions prevailing during the 6th century BC and 6th century AD uh, in our country. To understand the social conditions, we will be taking help of uh, some of the very important literary sources in which uh, we get some information about uh, how the people uh, relations used to exist what uh, were uh, regarded as the norms for the society uh, and for that we will be using the information that we get from the two big epics that our country have that is the Ramayana and Mahabharat basically we will be confining our uh, source of information about the social condition uh, from Mahabharat as it was written around 500 BC though the events are of much earlier date but it was compiled it started to be compiled in written form from from 500 BC so uh, we uh, need to know we need to have some information about the th these two great epics uh, that is a part of the cultural heritage of uh, our country First of all, about the Ramayana, uh, about the Ramayan, which is the oldest of the Indian epics, Maharshi Valmiki is considered as the original author of uh, Ramayan. Originally, there were three thousand couplets in Valmiki Ramayan, which in due course increased to twenty-four thousand. The Ramayan consists of seven books also, which are known as Khands. Ramayan is much older than the Mahabharat. It is assumed that uh, Ramayana was composed in 4th century BC and it achieved its present form by the 1st century BC. But you should keep in mind though it was composed in the 4th century BC. But uh, the events that are depicted over there is of much older time and uh, uh, it might be that uh, these events may have been in the folklore uh, of our culture and that used to pass from generation to generation uh, orally but later on it got compiled and this work of compilation first of all took place in the 4th century BC later on another uh, epic was written which came to be known as Ramcharita Manash and that was written by Tulsi Das. That was written in the medieval times. This uh, Ramcharit Manas achieved large popularity in India. Today, every Indian is familiar with Ramcharit Manas and its characters. All the Indians and the Hindus in particular know well about the subject matter of the Ramayan. The norms that has been depicted in Ramayan can be a source of information for the historians in understanding the social relationship between people that existed during that period of time when it was compiled. However, most of the modern historians, especially uh, the foreign historians, opine that the events of the Ramayana are not historical and uh, its characters are imaginary but the Indian historians believe that the events of the Ramayans are historical and its characters are not imaginary and uh, at present the Ramayana is available in number of forms but the basic story of all of them is the same. Another epic that has been used in this chapter to have an understanding about the social conditions prevailing during that period of time is Mahabharat, which is considered to be the work of Vedvyas. Originally, it consisted of 8,800 verses. It was known as Jai Samhita initially, which means a collection of dealings which relates to victory. Later, its verses were added and it increased to 24,000 and it came to be known as Bharat 
बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स कंटेनिंग द स्टोरीज ऑफ द डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ भारत वन ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट वेद विच वॉज वन ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट वैदिक ट्राइब्स इन आवर कंट्री फाइनली इट्स वर्सेज व रेस टू वन लैक एंड इट केम टू बी नोन एज महाभारत ऑल्सो इन द ओपिनियन ऑफ द हिस्टोरियंस द स्टोरी ऑफ महाभारत इज ऑफ लेटर पीरियड दैन दैट ऑफ द रामायण मोस्ट ऑफ द हिस्टोरियंस बिलीव दैट द करेक्टर्स ऑफ द महाभारत आर हिस्टोरिकल दे अग्री ऑन द मैटर दैट द इवेंट्स नरेटेड इन महाभारत एंड द वॉर वेस्ड बाई कॉरव एंड द पैंडव इन द बैटल फील्ड ऑफ कुरुक्षेत्र और ऑल्सो हिस्टोरिकल दिस टेक्स्ट इज अ डिपिक्शन ऑफ अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ सोशल कैटेगरीज एंड सिचुएशंस so it becomes a very important source of information for understanding the social environment that existed the social norms that existed during that period of time the historians assume that this text was composed in 500 bc onwards over a period of about 1000 years according to the central storyline of the mahabharat the bharatas the chatriya clan ruled over the ganga Jamuna Dwab in northern India the Pandavas and the Kauravas who were the princes of the Bharat clan waged this war to affirm their respective rights of sovereignty and it was during this war that Lord Krishna who is considered as an incarnation of Lord Vishnu gave Arjun the divine message which is now compiled in the form of bhagavad gita bhagavad gita is actually the essence of indian philosophy and uh, that is a part of mahabharat because this was this discourse was given by lord krishna to arjun during the time of the war before the starting of the war and that got compiled in a separate book called bhagavad gita now in this war which we are talking about that is a mahabharat the pandavas emerged victorious and yudhishthir uh, became the ruler and ascended the throne yudhishthir was succeeded by parikshit both parikshit and his son janmeja are considered to be as historical kings of india so mahabharat becomes a very important source of information about uh, the conditions of that period it is not a narrative of only of the art of the war that is mainly depicted in that some section of it text lay down the norms of behavior for various social groups and we find the main characters of this text occasionally following these norms of the society so it helps in understanding the social relations in a very uh, proper manner and that is why it has been taken as a source of information for the social conditions that used to prevail during the 6th century bc and 6th century ad